Ooh, well, come back, one and all. Ooh, well. Make some more hell so simple, you gone up a new world. We are gonna be, uh, trying to hate out Chapter 5 today. If we're lucky. Give me just a second. Why are you not playing? There we go. Have to make sure that was played. Know why it was? All right. Also, don't mind, uh, Mara. Ain't nothing, nothing to worry about. So I do a little bit of grinding. Got a little party with both of them, so you know they're up to par with Regal Cena. I did get a couple skits, but that's mostly if you just leave equipment on long enough and you can hit a certain level. So we're gonna go to Mount Hokio. I did want to go money farming, but I couldn't find a good money farm spot. Let's see how long chapter 5 is. This is Mel Tokyo? It's huge! Is this your first time here? Uh, yes ma'am, it is. I should have said something earlier, but just drop the formalities. That kind of thing makes me itch. Yes ma- I mean, okay. I hope Glaucius' core is still here. Regal and I both know this town like the back of our hands. I'm sure we'll find it. Let's pay a visit to the item shop first. All right. Yes, because I would like buy stuff. I'm gonna wait. No, Tokyo's so huge. I bet you could get lost here pretty easily. This was the capital of Tepaala when the world was still divided in two. So both people and goods gather here. Ugh, it's no wonder that people in Tepaala look down on us. Marta? No town in Silverant can even come close to this size. We don't even have a leader to unite the people as a proper country. But Silverant was ravaged by the Desions. The prosperity we Tetha Allens have enjoyed was at the expense of your people. If anything, we should be making every effort to repay what we've taken from you. Please forgive us. Oh, that's not what I meant. I wasn't blaming the Tetha Allens. I was just thinking we're going to have to build a city to equal Mel Tokyo ourselves. You're amazing, Marta. Hey, you're Silver Auntie too, so we're in this together. Right. Well, I guess we're not going in there anymore. Hey, over here? Nope. In we go. Looking for weapons, so actually what's my items look like? Good. My items look good. Yeah, there's my arena. Sword. When did I get a gold spinner? When did I get a gold spinner? Armor? Take your bat. That's better. Get at least one of those. Alright! Go ahead and equip stuff. There we go. And a meal. We 
Oh, you're good. We'll do the arena another time. Not really a move to do that. If there's side quests that I forgot about, we'll deal with that probably at the end, depending on how long this takes. I am gonna go I am salt, which is over here. Which you got guy has it. Wasn't that Tokunaga? It certainly looked like him. Someone you know? Yes, the Chosen of Tetha'ala lives in this city, and... Selos. Oh, right! You met him in Palma Costa? Yes, you said you did. Anyway, the man you just saw is a butler to the Chosen's sister, Selos. Really? Maybe he's running errands for her, then. Yeah, probably. Alright, let's go inside and talk to the shopkeeper. What can I do for you? Um, we're looking for a rare jewel that was found in Flanor. Did anyone bring anything like that here? Ah, I know the item you're talking about. Someone brought it then? They sure did, but I already sold it. Who did you sell it to? Sorry, I can't tell you. Customer confidentiality and all that. You understand, don't you? What do you mean? Merchants are bound to keep their customers' information private, especially where high-priced items such as jewels are concerned. If the wrong people found out who possesses such a priceless item, the buyer could become a target for theft. It's just as the gentleman here says. Sorry, I can't help you. But it's not just the person who bought it who'd be in trouble. The whole city would be in danger. I have an idea. How about we go and ask His Majesty? His Majesty? The King? Why? Most of the customers for fine jewels are members of the nobility. And they tend to show off their latest purchases. I see. We'll hobnob with the local aristocracy and find out which one has Glaucius's core. Good idea, Regal. You never cease to amaze me. A duke and a scholar to boot. Regal, you're a duke? I suppose I forgot to mention it. This is the first I've heard of it. Wow. President of a huge company and a duke, too. Amazing. I may have titles and rank, but under all that, I'm still flesh and blood like you. All right, let's get going to the castle. All of Lloyd's friends are really amazing people. Makes me wonder about the Lloyd that they believe in. If it wasn't for the Centurion's Corps, maybe he'd even be an okay guy. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I would, but you won't let me look. I am. How rude. In well, yes. I had to take a look at my uh, stats to make sure I wasn't dying. And now this is the part of the game where I just stop trying to talk to people because I just don't care. Yeah, I just rough work that person. I'm a ghost! I... 
don't think there's gonna be any chess out the open here. So let's just progress the story. from Flanor. Do anything, Cena. Is it I I mean we're just saying they're doing nothing? Give up, Alice. You lost. Oh, I don't think so. Allow me. 
servant of darkness, bend to my will. the reason why I should be the one in control. Emil? Don't worry. The Centurion told me that Tenebrae is only asleep. I'm gonna go after him. What do you mean, go after him? Where? The Temple of Darkness. If it's the same as the other Centurions we've encountered, then there should be an entrance to the altar in there. That's where we'll find Tenebrae! Now I understand. I'll go with you. What about you, Regal? I'll meet with His Majesty and advise him on the situation with Glacius's core first. After that, I'll follow you. Whatever. Alright, then we'll meet you there. All right, let me make sure a bank is asked to be. Centurions are such mysterious creatures. You got that right. I mean, they just return to their altars when they're injured. Actually, when they are inflicted with so much damage that they revert to their core state, they're supposed to return to Radatosk himself. Then Tenebrae is with me? But Ratatosk is also currently in core form, without his powers. He doesn't have the strength to heal the Centurions, so Tenebrae returned to his altar. Or at least that's what they said. You mean the other Centurions? Yeah. Wait, so if Ratatosk wasn't taking his nap, there'd be no need to go to the Temple of Darkness? If Ratatosk was awake, we wouldn't be on this journey in the first place. Oh, right. <laughs> Hey, do you think Tenebrae is really okay? Yeah. He's just changed back into a core, right? He's not dead or anything, right? No, he's not dead! You don't have to yell at me, you know! <laughs> Sorry. A Centurion can always be revived as long as their mana source doesn't dry up. They're like summon spirits in that way. The Centurions say it's not a question of his being alive or dead. Okay, I get it. I'm sorry. I shouldn't panic just because I don't understand. No. I like you better angry than meek and apologetic. <laughs> Emil in Ratatosk mode tells it straight like a man. Well, off to Apple Darkness we go, I suppose. I 
after I go to Luin. So I can give free heal. Cause I like free heal. Let's me not be dead. So I'm assuming that boss fight was gonna be a lot harder. Not because the game goes levels, it wasn't. Well, I say that, but you know, Regal instantly died at the very start. And Cena wasn't doing anything. Hell full of darkness. I hope I don't have to do any dumb gimmicks here. I can feel Tenebrae's presence. Really? It's bright enough to see in here without the blue candle. Must be because Shadow's gone. Blue candle? When Shadow was in this temple, it was pitch black. Without it, we couldn't see a thing. Who cares? Let's go. You know, I'm finding it pretty difficult to warm up to a meal in Rabbitosk mode. Sheena. Oh, right, sorry. I know he is a meal. But anyway, come on, let's go. I guess it makes sense that the Temple of Darkness would be so... dark. Are you scared? N not scared, exactly. Dark places always make you wonder what might be hiding in them. There isn't much that scares me, though, thanks to all the training I've been through. Sheena, there's something on your back. Ah! What? What is it? It, it was just a cobweb. Oh, c cobwebs, right. Don't startle me like that. That's some training. Do this to Tenebrae. Next time I see her, I'm gonna tie her up and toss her butt into Flannor Harbor. <laughs> You're too soft. I'd sling a rope around her and hang her from the tops of the Fuji Mountains. I understand how you both feel, but I can't say I approve of your choice of words. Harsh words are evidence of troubled minds. Okay then, the next time I have the pleasure of a rendezvous with Lady Alice, I would truly enjoy the opportunity to politely wrap her up with ropes and kindly submerge her in the beautiful waters of Flannor Harbor. <sighs> <sighs> Sam Mimic. I ain't had him on auto. I had him off the wrong thing. Okay, let me let me try to fix that. Ice. We also make iron. There, you're fixed. Now what's my Milan gel? Now give me that Milan gel. What are you? You're gonna regret this. Yes, be so fair to monsters. Also, hello, binary. Yes, ghost. Ghost on my monsters. See that? Yes. And monsters that I can level up. It's kind of different. Like, you get party members that have rarity for the previous game, but you mostly just stick with these two and, uh, monsters. It's definitely not as good as the other game. I 
as you can see, I'm just, like, spamming one thing only. Who's next? I got broken armor. Alamia's hair eye. That's probably for you. Uh. Oh, it's not. It's not I am. That's a lot of money. Let's do this. I wouldn't know if it was, uh. I wouldn't know if it was supposed to be a sequel or not. That's a fun for play. that do? No. It's just a buff that I don't really care about. Alright, helpless <laughs> shadows. That's a reaper. Don't wait, reaper. Now let's kill the Reaper! And Gargoyles, I guess. That's it? I was just getting started! Well, at least I'm getting a whole bunch of money now. That's something I was missing. Why am I getting so much money now? I didn't want arts, I wanted skills. Wait, oh you had sky combo. Seems to be broken. It's just gonna make me run all the way around. That's a Lamia. That's a Lamia with a Pokesur Knight. Yeah, those spy from level up psychic really, really help a lot. It feels like lemon gel. Wait, where am I going? Uh. Fire. I can light that up from way over here. Mommy, I say your prayers. 
remember, this is a Wii game, so... It is gonna have the, uh... Uh, Wii mode stuff. The heck? I don't know what the status effect this guy has on, but... Oh. That's settled. You did it! No! I got a lobby at him. What exactly am I trying to do here? Um... What am I trying to do here? Did I forget to do something? Um... Huh. I, uh... I am so confused. Give me just a second, please. Just one second. What? Oh, I can post this one. A green eye once one cycle push. I see a bank. I don't know if I like that thing. Damn it. I have no idea where the core is without Tenebrae. Too bad the other centurions don't talk to us the way that Tenebrae does. Bunch of useless twits. By the way, Emil, you've been in Ratatosk mode for a while now. Something wrong with that? Not wrong, really, just... Shh, be quiet. What is it? I hear voices from inside. It just looks like a normal wall. Maybe the sorcerer's ring will open this one too. Doesn't look like it. There must be a switch somewhere else. I like this a meal. This a meal's better. Damn it! What's with this hidden door crap? When I find it, I'm smashing it to pieces! Emil, humans have a saying. A wise head makes a closed mouth. And what's that supposed to mean? Uh, I'm not sure. Placing the control mechanism for a secret door adjacent to that door would be of little value. This can only mean that the switch is in a remote location. Oh, I see. But you're using that wrong. My apologies. And what's with the impression of Tenebrae anyway? I miss him. Then we'd better stop wasting time and find the real thing. Yeah. I can't see. It was I am here and I couldn't see it. I would like to have that, but I can't do fair. Oh, oh, is that another thing I could Yeah. Wait. No. Break that back. What's over here? No one. Got anything I need? I really want to use the lottery gel. Can 
make an echo tracer, but I don't want to make that. I don't have enough of that. Not enough of that. Not enough of that. Never enough for anything. What was that? Oh. Go ahead and push this in. I don't know why, but we can. Eh. Fire doesn't work. Listen to things somewhere, I feel. Is there something up there, God, miss? Okay, Lami. Okay, Lami. I guess I'm just gonna have to murder you. I guess you wanna die. Oh my goodness. I'll just murder you with this. If I haven't missed the guard, I might as well use it. Oh, Neil, I was so scared. You were more scary. What did you say? Nothing. No, seriously, what am I missing? Like, I can push that, but it did nothing for me. Is there a thing that I did not find yet? Can't go past that. Um... This Lamia is really getting on my nerves. Keep serious in my eye. At least make it challenging. Someone serious in my eyes, and I don't like that. Is it you, Cena? It is you. Stop using it. What I'm missing here. Prick. 
Are you sure I hit all of them? Gear guy, not. Go this way. Yeah, miss. I am making so much money in here. It's kinda of nut. Oh cool, I can't use this life bottle. Can I can I like get rid of a life bottle? No. This life bottle is just there. Reaper has to stay up there. It probably packed this Lamia again. Yep. Let's get rid of them this Lamia is just always in the way. Getting a lot of lobby hails. I mean, I could probably sell these things to get money off them, but you know. Aha! What do you mean I can't go in there? It's not like I got there before. Fine. Let's get rid of them quickly! Nice whip! He's too fat! Turn around! Ow! Ow! Sore! Every week, sore. Okay, we go. Oh. Heavenly Hempus. What that art is? Probably. It's a mid air? I guess? Quality scone.
That's cool. I just had a rock thrown in my face. That's not cool. Should have never gone against me. All right, moving on. I don't know what's gonna. Oh, oh. Let's light these things up. And now I can go back there. The darkness is in the way. Where did you come from, hubby? Really? Here we go! That's settled. You did it! Moving along. Gotta get back to that one room so I can activate the uh sorcerer ring. Hey my bob. This guy is gonna be right in my way. Because of course he is. Everyone wants to be right away. Ow! So how's everyone doing in chat? Everyone doing good? I saw murder stuff. That's settled. You did it. Now I'll give you the kiss I promised. What promise? Hmm. That's always. Uh, yeah, it can always be better. Darkness. I have darkness element. Only for tomorrow. I mean, it can always be worse. Because the darkness get rid of the darkness. The darkness gets rid of the darkness. Sir, you stop murdering me. Oh? Join me! Oh. No demon for me. It's so hard to get enemies to join you. And now we run down here. We just gotta get the bomb, I believe. Ha! Not ha! Let's get rid of them quickly. Thank you, Mark, huh? And I will murder whatever this is. It's over. I don't even know what that is. That's settled. You did it! Now I'll give you the kiss I promised. Sup, Mara. Nobody likes you, Mara. Huh? So there's two light balls. It's a little discerning. I 
a weak charm. How weak! Sir Humpo Mac over here. Got a lot of money. Like that. Sir, I would like for you to not be in my way. Also, I'm getting a lot of EXP in here, Bacon Valley. Well. I got punched by a bomb. It's over. What? Should have never gone against me. Wait a minute, what? I don't know. Never played Persona 4. I wonder if Tenebrae's really here. Don't worry, Marta. The other Centurions told us that Tenebrae would be here. I'm sure he is. Okay. Relax. I can sense his presence. Really? Yes, trust me. I'm your guardian, the Knight of Ratatos. Yeah. Emil, you sure say some manly things when you're in Ratatosk mode. Shut up! I actually don't know who voices who here. Like, I know some of the original BAs aren't in here, like, VOICE ISN'T! And I think Genesis is different. Cause it doesn't sound like hell. It sounds like a very poorly sounding hell. I think Cena's BA might be the same. That's settled. You did it. There's a safe point right here. Sir, you're in the way of my I am. I will take this pineapple gel. Let's get rid of them quickly. And I guess I'm gonna murder you. Yeah. I see you trying to kill me, Reaper. Don't mess with Igaguri style. Yeah. And you know what, Emil? Oh, you still have that on. Well, that might that might actually be good. I'm half that. <laughs> Honestly, I should probably heal. Use some apple gels, if you will. Cause you know, we're gonna find a boss down here. Who, I don't know. Are we gonna fight Penebrae? I don't know. What's this? I don't know. 
This is where we found Shadow, the summon spirit of darkness, two years ago. But this wasn't here then. Maybe it's some sort of switch. Get back to you and where? Going up a lot of stairs. Where am I supposed to go in here? Back the way I came? I feel like I'm not supposed to be back up here. Huh. I feel like I'm, uh... I guess I just leave? Oh wait, I know where I need to go. It's got, um... It's the, um, wall back you couldn't get to. Right. I actually forgot about that wall. I wish I could have got the light bulb down here, but oh well. Looks like that switch we found was linked to this wall. I wonder if Tenebrae's up ahead. Probably. Though I'm sure we'll find some enemies waiting for us as well. You mean the voices we heard earlier? The only people with any business in a place like this would be Lloyd or the Vanguard. We can't let them take Tenebrae! Let's go! Are we gonna fight Magus in here or something? This is very Magus like. Guess we're just gonna go fight Magus. I sense. I sense Aqua. So that energy I felt was Tenebrae returning to core form. How convenient, if we destroy him here. Not so fast! Emil! You're not taking Tenebrae! For someone who had to resort to a cheap trick in Flanor, you seem pretty sure of yourself. Just accept the fact you were beaten. <laughs> yes, you're right. Stop interfering. I don't want to fight you. That's too bad. Because I can't wait to kill you! <sighs> R 
Victor, huh? Come on. Are you ready? Pain will only last an instant. Let's see if I was supposed to lose. I think I was. Guess you're tougher than I thought. Looks like I'll just have to hit you with another one. Emil, you're... I, I, I just can't believe it. <laughs> I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Emil, listen to me. You must cease being a knight of Ratatosk. If you won't, then I'll... Then I'll have to... Quit your pointless whining! Die! Wait, Emil! Calm down! Return back to normal! You're destroying the whole temple! Shut up! Get out of my way! Ein so hour! Eternal recurrence! Find Marta and have her hatch Tenebrae's core fast. Oh, now I have a whole bunch of ghosts or ghosts. Well, now I know why we're down here. Oh, my gosh, a save point. Who's that? Marta, you're okay. Does it hurt? I treated myself. I'm okay. It's my fault. I never meant for you to get hurt. It's okay. But what's happening to you? Sheena mentioned it too. You've been in Ratatosk mode for a long time. So you're on their side. Huh? Sheena and Richter are both on my case to return to the normal me. And now you too! No, I didn't say... Why? Why should I? My normal self is a pathetic weakling. A cowardly dog who'll never amount to anything. Emil! You said you wanted me to protect you, as a knight of Ratatosk. 
And that's exactly what I'm doing. So what's the problem? Emil, I didn't mean it like that. Maybe I should just disappear. None of you want me around. Both you and Marta are safe, but... But... Tenebrae won't wake up. Tenebrae? So Richter didn't get him after all. What are you talking about? You grabbed the core yourself. Huh? I guess... I did? Look. I've been trying the same thing I always do to hatch Centurions, but Tenebrae won't wake up. Whoa! Wh what was that? Tenebrae? Emile, Lady Marta, my most humble apologies for worrying you so. Tenebrae, are you okay? Centurions do not die. They only regress to their core state. Though I would not have been able to awaken had you two not come for me. Tenebrae, you sacrificed yourself for me. I'm sorry. Please, think nothing of it. Thank goodness. I can't stand saying goodbye to friends. Tenebrae! Should we start heading back to Mel Tokyo? Regal must be worried by now. Right. Oh, uh, wait. Um, what about Richter? Any idea what happened to him? I was caught up in the cave-in, so I can't say exactly for sure. But it looked like that Centurion Aqua rescued him before he was crushed. Then he's still alive. Uh, y yeah Probably. Good. The Ratatosk mode you and the normal you are like night and day. <laughs> what, what is it, you two? Tenebrae, welcome back. We really missed you. Oh my. Well, I am sorry for causing concern. Is that all you gotta say? Show some emotion. Is old age making us a little wumpy? How rude. I would ask that you not treat me like an elderly dimwit. Look, he's getting angry. It's really him. Yep, I wouldn't have him any other way. What, what happened while I was gone? <laughs> That's weird. When did I pick up Tenebrae's core? Is something wrong, Emil? Well, yeah. My memory is... Your memory? No, it's okay. It's nothing. My memory of when I arrived at the Temple of Darkness is really hazy. Why? Hedebrae knows something. Hey, Mom, do you... Huh? I'm sorry. That just sort of came out. I guess it's because you seem sort of mom-like. You think I'm motherly? Are you implying that I'm old? No, no, not like that. I mean, you were really kind and grown up and stuff and, I don't know, kind of like the middle-aged women who lived in my neighborhood. What? Yeah. Hey, Tenebrae, help me out here. You see, on some level, Emil feels a sort of attachment toward you as a mother. And, as we know, a powerful symbol of motherhood is the breast. The young man is simply expressing his appreciation for your ample bosom. Huh? Is that how you've been looking at me? You, you, you creep! You jerk! You perv! How could you? I hate you! <laughs> I guess reawakening didn't change you, Tenebrae. <laughs> how spiteful! 
poor, poor meal. What did he do to serve that? Okay, a meal to serve out the pain he did. Go ahead and kill some things while we're here. Because why not? Uh, sometimes, sometimes jokes get real old real quick. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Let's do this. I can't even see you. It's over. Ah! Should have never gone against me. At least I got a lot of money here. Holy crap! I have so much money now, and it's all gonna get used up real quick. Like, super quick. Well, if I ever want to go treasure hunt and I- Ah! Nowhere, I'm uh, missing stuff. Murder seal! That's my favorite seal. A seal of murder. Of course I won. I wonder if I can actually make anything now that's more, you know, anything. Oh, and out we go! Can I go in here again? Okay, I guess we just leave. I'm fine with just leaving. Back to Mount Hokio we go! You're all right. What about Tenebrae? As you can see, I am quite well. Terribly sorry to have worried you. So, Regal, did you talk to His Majesty about Glaucius's core? Actually, there's been a bit of progress on that front, which is why I came to find you. Progress? You mean, you know who has the core? That's correct. It's one of Maltokyo's nobles, just as we suspected. So who? Hopefully someone who will fork it over without too much trouble. I don't believe it should pose much of a problem. The buyer was one Celis Wilder. Celis? You mean that idiot Chosen's sister? The Chosen Zelos's sister? Indeed. We should head to Zelos's mansion. Does that sound good to you two? Of course. I'm not exactly enthusiastic, but it's not like we have a choice. I'm not too eager myself, but let's go. Hi, Regal. Welcome back, Regal. How was the Temple of Darkness? It was really dark. It is, after all, the resting place of my altar. One should expect some darkness. That's right, you're a dark elemental. Darkness is quite pleasant. 
It wraps the world in a warm black blanket. It would seem, though, that my altar was converted into a temple of some sort during my sleep. I think it was Crucius that built the temples. Crucius is that institution in the heavens where Goddess Martell lives, right? Yes, I suppose that describes it well enough. So the Church of Martell's followers turned the Centurion's altars into temples. Indeed. It's rather rude to remodel someone's home without asking permission. They've ruined the bleakness of my magnificent lair. What's the big deal? It's still plenty dark. The quality of the darkness is as different as night and day. Can you truly not appreciate that fact? I guess some differences are too subtle for we humans to perceive. Darkness! Um, so who is Celis? Celis is the half-sister of Zelos, the Chosen. She has a frail constitution. Without the aid of an X-Sphere, even everyday activities are difficult for her. X-Spheres? Those stones with mysterious powers, right? And they were made by the designs. Yes. They allow people to amp their abilities to their full potential. Both of us have one. The King has issued an order demanding the surrender of all X-Spheres. So we'll have to return these as well someday. At any rate, Celis didn't waste any time in giving her X-Sphere back. And that's why Zelos has been so worried about her. When Celis is involved, the Chosen has a tendency to lose his composure. Anyone so much as touches a hair on her head and he'd hunt them down to the gates of hell itself. Wow, that's so dashing. I wish I had an older brother like that. You can't get me. Also, Celis, you know, destroyed me in Saponia at first. So yeah, that was fun. Get absolutely destroyed by a tiny lake. Back to Mel Hokio we go. Let's see if we can synthesize anything more for darn. I might check that echo tracer just to have it. Maybe. I'm like fully stocked up on stuff here, so... I don't have enough pure silver, okay. Not enough lizard skids. I'm missing a steel ball. A philosopher's stone. I can probably make a philosopher's stone, actually. Well, I'm not gonna worry about it, I guess. Save the money for when things are important. Get out of the way, dude! I should probably, you know, go heal. So you know what, I'm gonna go back and Lewin, heal, and then we'll come back here. I could go all the way up there anyway. Yep, have fun with whatever you're doing, Binary. Thanks for dropping by. I'm gonna try to get Chapter 5 done today if I can. We're actually almost halfway done with Chapter 5. So, depending on when I get done, I might try the, uh, side quest. Just to wrap those up. Or, you know, get started on them, anyways. Oh. A lot of earthquakes around here.
Gee, I wonder where the mansion is. Welcome back. Ah, and Miss Sheena, you grace us with your presence. It's been a while, Sebastian. And you would be Sir Emile, Miss Marta, and Sir Tenebrae, correct? Duke Bryant was good enough to send word ahead of your visit. Thank you. We've come about the Glacius's core. Yes. Well, one of our servants, a man named Tokunaga, informed us that he had come into possession of an unusual jewel. Isn't that the butler we saw coming out of the item shop? The same. It seems that he had just purchased the core when we saw him. Could you please call Mr. Tokunaga for us? Oh, what could that be? It, it, it's Lady Sellus. Lady Sellus has been kidnapped by Sir Lloyd. What? Sir Bud kidnapped Lady Sellers. Sir Bud? Are you talking about Lloyd? We'll explain later. Which way did he go? Out the second floor window. We have to go after him. Is he? Tenebrae, can you sense Glacius around here? I do sense a presence getting further from here. However, energy from another Centurion's core is causing some interference. Another core? Like Lumens. Lloyd has that. No. This would be Solom's core, I believe. Why would Solom's core be here? We can wonder about that later. Let's split up and start searching. I want to explain earthquakes. Cause there's been an awful lot of earthquakes around here. He's back entrance. Whoa, excuse you. It's you. Zealous Wilder. Huh. Never expected to see you in my neck of the woods. We don't have time for that! Lloyd kidnapped your sister! What are you talking about? It's true! Huh? Lloyd! Lloyd Irving... I... I've been waiting for you. Come back here! You're saying that was Lloyd? Of course. Are you blind? Don't make me laugh. That's not Lloyd. You idiot. Your sister's been kidnapped. Hmm. Don't get your britches in a bunch, kid. Lloyd wouldn't do something like that to sell us. That was not Lloyd. Where are you going? I'm going home. If someone's gone to all the trouble of kidnapping Celis, I'm sure they left me some sort of message. You come too. You want to see Lloyd, right? <laughs> oh, hey. Celis is now in my party. And before I forget, Celis... No. No auto item. Well... You know what, I'll leave all I am on. Just in case. No! I 
don't like all I am playing on. Cause I like not wasting items. Because wasting items kinda sucks a little bit, not gonna lie. Master Zelos! Lady Zelos has been... The kid already filled me in. Duke Bryant and Miss Sheena are currently out looking for Lady Zelos. Regal and Sheena? It looks like Lloyd's already skipped town. Oh. Marta. Emil. Sebastian, tell me exactly what happened. I was the one who witnessed it, Master Zelos. I had presented Lady Celis with an exceptional gem called the Glockius. I had just begun explaining its origins when it happened. Sir Lloyd suddenly came in through the window. He grabbed Lady Celis along with the gem and escaped. You mean Lloyd has Glockius' core? I'm sorry, Marta. If only I caught him. And there's been no word from Lloyd? We have yet to hear anything. That's weird. What's so weird about it? Lloyd's after all of the cores. Then why go to the trouble of kidnapping Celis? I'm telling you, that's not Lloyd. You're wrong. It was Lloyd. I saw him with my own eyes. What would you know about Lloyd anyway? You really think he smells like that? Smell? Yep. When he ran by me, there was this horrible stench. I thought I was going to pass out. Lloyd's never been the sort to wear cologne. And even if he was, he'd never put on something that putrid. Now that you mention it, it did smell a bit familiar. Was it owed a seduction? That's it! Wait, that would mean Dex was disguised as Lloyd? Hey, you guys want to enlighten the rest of us as to what you're talking about? Um, well, you see... Hmm, Ratatosk, huh? I gotta say, that's quite the tale. So anyway, there's a good chance the Lloyd we saw was actually this vanguard guy Dex in disguise. Judging from the smell, I think so. All right, come with me for an audience with His Majesty. Let Regal and Sheena know when they come back. Understood. An audience? The House of Wilder is second in status only to the royal family. We have to report this immediately. Let's go. Well, I guess now we know that, um... I guess we know now that, um... We know who has been impersonating Lloyd this entire time. Hate was right. Hate guessed correctly. After all that shape sifting nonsense of Lenore. Yeah, it makes sense. Chosen one. I'm told that Bud has kidnapped Celis. To be more accurate, Your Majesty, she was taken by an imposter of his. We believe the Vanguard may be involved. Excuse me, why do you call him Bud? Because he's my Bud. You say those barbarians who call themselves the Silverante Liberation Front committed this crime? How awful! Hmm. Your Majesty, Duke Bryant and Sheena Fujibayashi of Mizuho have arrived. I would speak with them.
It seems matters have become quite grave. Your Majesty, we come bearing new information about the current situation. Scouts from my village reported seeing a Rayard overhead flying east. East of here? That could be the Cape Fortress. Marta? The Vanguard has a base in the Cape Fortress. So, Marta dear, how do you know something like that? Well... Former Vanguard, huh? A member of the Vanguard? Stop, please! Marta has nothing to do with the Vanguard anymore. And right now, my sister's life is more important. Put away your weapons! So far, the Vanguard hasn't made any attempt to contact me regarding my sister's kidnapping. Which is why I suspect they've abducted Celis in order to get to Lloyd, rather than me. Why would they do that? Emil, the Vanguard's after the Corps too, correct? That would include whatever Corps Lloyd has. I see. They took Celis so they can make a trade with Lloyd. Well, it could just be coincidence. Celis came in possession of the core. They set out to steal it, and ended up grabbing her when they realized she'd be useful as well. Dex, how could he? We'll need to infiltrate the Vanguard's base. Your Majesty, in case our plan should fail, I would request the Royal Army be ready to take up the search for Celis. Of course. I'll have my generals make the necessary preparations immediately. As for Mizuo... I've already asked my people to start a search. Excellent. But Chosen One, shouldn't you consider staying behind in the city? If I don't get some thrills in now and then, I'll grow old before my time. Well then, Your Majesty, we will take our leave. So many people in Makari right now. Um, I'd like to say something before we go. Is something the matter? I'm sorry. What are you apologizing for? It's about Lloyd. I've been thinking, what if all of these terrible things I've been blaming on Lloyd were actually done by his imposter? Emil! I don't know. Maybe this is the only time it's his imposter. Of course, it could turn out that the real Lloyd is responsible for this. But every time I hear one of Lloyd's friends talk about him, it's hard to believe he's the same person who did all of those terrible things. So... I appreciate what you're trying to say, but we have no idea what the truth is. Yes, I know. It's just, I finally realized I can't jump to conclusions when there's so much doubt about what's happened. That's why I wanted to say I'm sorry. Then let's call a truce. When you gave me the evil eye, I pegged you as just some punk. But now that I've gotten to know you, you're a pretty decent kid. Zelos, you don't have to talk like that. It was probably a meal in Ratatosk mode that gave you the evil eye. Indeed. It seems that Emil gets a bit abrasive when he enters this so-called Ratatosk mode. Stop it! Stop talking about the other Emil like that! That Emil is Emil too, and he's doing the best he can! So please stop talking about him like this! Ah, right. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm afraid I went too far as well. I'm sorry, Emil. No, I'm fine. Well, moving on. I think it's about time we left. Sorry to rush you all, but I'm worried about Celis. Yes, I'm sorry for delaying. Let's get moving. Damn them. I don't care if they're the Vanguard or what. 
anybody who even looks at Celis the wrong way is gonna answer to me. After I string them up by their necks from the summit of Mount Fuji, I'll tie them to a sack of bricks and dump them into Flanor Harbor. Wow, Regal and Sheena weren't kidding. Y yeah. What did they say? They said you cared a lot about your sister. That you'd never forgive anybody who hurt her. Essentially, they said you seem to have a thing for your sister. Regal, Sheena, come here a sec. No, that's not what we meant. Tenebrae! <laughs> oh my god. Tenebrae. <laughs> oh, why hello, Miss Jubilees. I see you're keeping that sumptuous body of yours in top shape. Say it again and I'll smack you. Ow. You always warn me after you do it. Nice to see you haven't changed, Sheena. Nice to see you still can't have a conversation without slobbering over breasts. The Chosen's personality is the picture of constancy. You haven't changed a bit yourself, Duke Bryant. Chosen, we just saw each other the other day at the salon of Countess Rattenmeyer. He was checking out her voluptuous aristocratic curves, no doubt. What's that, Sheena? Do I detect a note of jealousy? What? It's almost as if they've never been apart. <laughs> Oh my god. All the best dialogue seems to come from the original cast and Penebrae. Penebrae is so great. I should probably get some apple cells. I used all those apple cells and I didn't even have to. Guess I'm not getting any apple cells. Not here, anyways. I guess I could just go back to. Where am I gonna go to get the uh, apple cells? Apparently, I can't go back to. Lewin? Why? What's this arbitrary? What, what's with this arbitrariness? You know what? I should buy some of these items. So I am gonna buy some of these items. Just half them on hand. Cause you never know. Alright, off to the Cape Fortress. I expected the Vanguard's base to be better guarded than this. No kidding. Hey Marta, you know this place, right? Is there a place where they could imprison someone they've kidnapped? I've heard about this base, but I've never actually been here, so it's hard to say. I see. Looks like we'll just have to search the place inside out. Oh well, let's go. Yes. This is the Vanguard's base. Man, what a total dump. Making it ornate would serve little purpose. But what kind of scum locks a guy's poor sister up in a diseased rat hole like this? You were expecting one of those immaculate, luxurious, revolutionary soldier camps? A little of you goes a long way, Tenny. I might say the same thing about you, sir. He you got, got that, that right. right. Come on, guys, where's the love? <laughs> you don't get any love from anyone, ever. I'm gonna murder you. New foes. Dragon search. Dragon search. 
<laughs> Sir, I'm just gonna have to murder you. Oh man, pure silver. I think I need to get from one of those. I'm going down here. Oh, I'm not going down here. I see a chest up here. Why are you in such a hurry to die? It's gotta be a safer way to find these guys. I was trying to say, what are you doing, Mark? Huh? Amazing! No, really, it wasn't. I was talking about me. Huh. <sighs> Ooh, yes, I. Ooh. I wonder what that's like. That's nice. No, I don't want that. Wow in the air, huh? Okay. Barely win. Inside we go. That's a cool one. We're gonna kill it. We're gonna run past it. How? How, how did I run past that? Why are you in such a hurry to die? All the damage. Should have never gone against me. You were getting wrecked there, Mark. Huh? What the crap? The heck happened to you? Ooh, for success. I gotta figure out how to get back. Celis is okay. If she's not, I'll make sure the Vanguard pays with their lives. I'm sorry. I wish I could say it's fine. Don't worry about it. But I can't. Zelos, don't you think that's a little harsh? Sheena, behind you! Huh? Sheena, look out! No sweat. Huh? You gotta be kidding me! What? Again? What a klutz. <laughs> I'll go look for her. You all keep looking for Celis. Right. Good luck, Regal. <sighs> oh, Cena. She's 
Gina was an assassin, right? What's she doing falling into a low-tech trap like that? From what we've heard, she struggled with this a bit in your previous journey as well. And this isn't the first time it's happened on this trip either. For real? Yeah, which reminds me, I've seen more pitfalls on this one trip than I have in my entire life. Hulk <sighs> <sighs> pitfall. I'm worried about Celis, but I really hope Sheena's okay too. I know. Why do bad things always happen in pairs? How about you, Marta? Are you doing okay? Huh? I mean, everything that's happened with the Vanguard lately. It's hard to believe I used to be in a group that would do all this. But you're not in it anymore. You're with us now. Yeah. Thanks, Emil. Ta-da! Feast your eyes on this. Come sample my one-of-a-kind gourmet cuisine. Whoa, look at it all. Everything from appetizers to dessert. I had no idea you were such a talented cook. Well, what did you expect? High-class men have high-class tastes. This is great. I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. Not so fast. Your seat's over there. Over there? But there's only bread and water over there. And what's wrong with that? Bread is quite a luxury. And I'm such a gentleman, I even arranged for sparkling water. No need to be polite. Eat as much as you like. Marta, dear, step right this way. Isn't this taking the whole chivalry thing a little too far? Oh, yo, yo, yo. You're very slow, Ark. Hey there, Emil. We're gonna win! Oh, healing power! Look for some Scala. I don't even know who Scala is. Who's Scala? Oh, you. Looks like we're going up. Which means I'm gonna get that chest. Hopefully, it's something good. Mm. Night Band Gana. More equipment. Nah. Let's do this. Great land, swap us in your direction. Oh, raging wind and cleave my enemy with your blade. It's over. Not a whole lot for me to really say at the moment. That's settled. You did it! No, I'll give you the kiss I brought. Ooh, boat on. Mart has just getting everything. Holy cloak. That's gonna be for Mart, huh? I will take it. And I will do a guy door in a die. second. My wolf has so much HP. Four thousand HP is a lot of HP. Yay! Mugwort, who are you again? I'm gonna kill you.
know what? What is going on? It's still Meg. She still doesn't really have anything that I can use her, um... Mystic Art off of. Don't you ever get embarrassed? You don't pull any punches, do you? <laughs> Who uses gnarly? Ah! They're trying so hard to catch me, but they can't. First Celis is abducted, then my bud gets impersonated, and now Sheena falls through a trap door. Why do things like this keep happening around me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Why are you two sorry? Um, well... Come on, now you're making me feel like the bad guy here. Cheer up, lose those pitiful depressing faces. But it's all our fault. If not for us, Celis would be safe. If you really want to help, the best thing you can do is focus on the task at hand. None of your apologies are going to bring us any closer to saving Celis. Right. I'm sorry. Enough. I just want to save my sister. That's all. Making you two miserable is not my style. You understand? Yes. We'll save Celis. There, that's the spirit. You are much kinder than one would expect. What? How can you gaze upon this beautiful face and this graceful figure and ever think otherwise? Ah, uh, you'll have to excuse me. It would appear the standards of beauty between monsters and humans differ greatly. You might make a nice piece of steak. Mmm, steak. So fill me in. How is dragging this tyke around with us gonna help us rescue Celis? Hey! No, I don't mean you, Marta, sweetie. I was talking about our little daydreamer over here. Sorry. I don't know how you can be such a limp noodle with this lovely little lady fawning all over you like she does. Hey! I won't let you talk about my night like that! Whoa, kid, for a dim bulb, you sure put the moves on quick. No, it's not like that. It, it's not? Wait, I mean, huh? Ah, there's nothing like young love. You're confused with the porn lag. Do not confuse the porn lag. It's back. It's back. Will not leave me alone. Well, I got a stone charm, so yay. Oh. Bad. Bad, Sino. A surprise attack? Don't let this scare you. against the great Zelos. Great? Yeah, yeah, whatever. That's it? Yes, you're here for Zelos. Cena fell from a trap door. Zelos' sister got kidnapped. Lots of things are happening. Emil is very gum. I can go in here. What's in here? A black spinner? A new weapon for Mar- huh? Oh! I can get Angus who last change.
was één keer. Here you go, sir. It did not level up. Oh, yes it did. Which one do you think he should become? Hulk, Phantom, or Undertaker? I'll take an Unger Hanker. Let's go with Unger Hanker. Oh, it's that guy. I can't accept a quest there. That's the first game. Yeah, I got Uncle Hanker. Hopefully Uncle Hanker's gonna be useful. I keep looking at all of this stuff, but it's never ever gonna be useful. Also, Marta now has phone on, so yay. That was too easy. Yeah. More Sarcmaris. Yeah, I don't know why we got boom on so late. But I mean, I'll take it. Let's murk this guy. I am abusing this mystic arm. <laughs> because it's so good. It's such a strong mystic arm for right now. Getting a lot of money here, and I like, I like all the money I'm getting. I need to find that switch. There's the switch. Hey! Who are you healing? Everybody wants to heal. We rocked! You want some lessons on the L word from the master? You mean loser? Kids these days are so mean. <laughs> Four cellos. Nobody likes you. <laughs> you 
he really does. He does not sound correct at all. How are you doing, sir? That's a rabbit. Who let all the rabbits inside? Oh, hi. I got wake smitten. I'm who run away. At least Regal and Cena sound fine. There's a lot of guys down there. Now I have water. Can't go in there. Can't go in there either. Start close, bent beak. Yeah. Okay. So. You want to write the scout so close a bent beef, scissors a killer skein, man of beast, sun and water. Really? Do I leave the room and come back in and it'll reset? Hold on. I'm gonna go back in here and look at the bank. Alright. Sort claws and bent beak. A beak. Scissors, a killer skin, man of beast, sun and war, strong armor, wings on its back. So you're the last one. You know what? I feel like I should just look this up. Ask a bent beak. Stank beast. Man of beast. Hold on. Son of war strong armor. Genius! Now I'm down here!
When you have been fused and on. Again! What am I supposed to do here? Go out that way now. How do I get a chest? That's how you get chest. Yay! Ah! Say your prayers. Now burn! I love how I still cannot use Marpa's Mystic Guard. I wanted to see how long it would aim for her, a guy. That was totally gnarly. Don't you ever get embarrassed? You don't pull any punches, do you? Who uses gnarly? Come on. Who uses gnarly? No, it's only gnarly! Going out the boss? Double boy. There, there are two Lloyds. Then one of them is really Dex. Come on, give me a hand. Help me defeat this fake one once and for all. Don't let him fool you. He's the imposter. If one of them is Dex, he should reek of that cologne. But the smell is overpowering everything. I can't tell which one it's coming from. Damn it! This is ridiculous! I trust all of you! I know justice will prevail, and that you will make the right choice! Emil! What should we do? Well, that one's obviously a fake one. The imposter is this one. I 
can't believe it. Then you're the one responsible for attacking Paul Macosta and destroying all of those cities. Ah, oh, crap. So you found me out. Damn it. I was supposed to keep all of this a secret from you, Marta. What are you talking about? So then, Daddy ordered you to... Daddy? What do you mean, Daddy? Oh, I see. So you didn't tell them, did you? Yes, of course. If you did, you wouldn't be able to stay with them. What does he mean, Marta? Our dear little Mark Mart is the only daughter of the Vanguard's great Commander Brute. Zealous! Zealous! <laughs> Don't you dare take another step. I just love breaking the arms of cute little girls like you. Why, you little bitch. As long as I win. Yeah. You better not badmouth my precious little Alice or you'll have to answer to me. Dex, shut up. Now be good kids and hand over your cores and weapons. Mark Mark can bring them to us. Doing this, what do you want with the Centurion's cores? We only really need Ratatosk's core. Commander Brute wants the rest for his little collection. Ah, uh, Dex, stop answering their questions. Uh, uh, sorry, my dear Alice. Now, Mart Mart, and please be quick about it. Not so fast! We're not gonna let you! So sorry to disappoint you. Lloyd, is Celis all right? Yeah. Zelos, we'll take care of Celis. Lloyd, this way. All right. You're not getting away. Wait! Not so fast. Don't interfere with my Alice. I'll protect her no matter what. Huh. Oh, really? You're going to stop me? You can't even put on cologne without screwing it up. Yeah, I just don't have to appeal and use her mystic arm. Now bite the dust! Yeah, I got, I got the ability to do it. It's just that I don't have an art to do it well. Well, the mystic arts are speaking up, though. Yeah, I know. I just don't have a high spell or a arcane art for her. Well, I have refs and raps in, but you know. This victory will be for Alice. Blade. Run my enemies. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding. <laughs> Don't strain yourself. Hold it. Oh, you're in power. I'll end the enemy's moves. Oh, that was on purpose. I'll take the bit. I'll end the power. Healing power. Oh, screw. Don't hate me because I'm so fast. Oh, healing power! Strong! Don't hate me because I'm so fine! Yeah. 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 Yeah
Oh, cool. Just get cut at 1 HP immediately. There wasn't enough time. What a sorry way to go. Concentrate on the enemy. <laughs> You're using too many. It's to win. Resurrection. <laughs> that can't be good. Just don't get hit. Why is my mystic art not going off now? Oh my god. Can you only use Mystic Arts once? Because I swear I tried doing another Mystic Art and it wouldn't let me. <sighs> that damn mail order exercise machine must have been a scam! Damn it. Dex, did Daddy really order you to do all of that? Did he order you to attack Paul Macosta? I was ordered to use the power of the Centurion's core to transform into Lloyd, then attack a meeting of the Vanguard. That would allow us to wipe out our internal dissent and place all the blame on the Church of Martell. <sighs> no, Dex. Richter! I'll handle this. Now go! Thank you. Wait a minute! Man, what is it with you people? Emil, farewell. Oh, cool. Can you still go on? Somehow. Oh, oh, yeah. Healing power. Concentrate on the battle. Damn. 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 
Pretty sure I'm supposed to lose. What a sorry way to go. Emil, I won't ask you to forgive me. You can curse me in hell instead. N no, Richter. Bastard. I guess that Richter didn't kill us after all. Sell us! Right! Come on, Emil! Let's go after them! I wonder who... Esther is. Come on, Emil! Oh, uh, right. Yes, who is Aster? Is that the other Emil? destroyed by the Crucius Angels and the Church of Martell? Mart Mart, come back to the Vanguard. If you bring back Ratatosk's core, Commander Brute will forgive you. No way. I'll never go back. I took Ratatosk's core on purpose, to stop Daddy's foolish ambition once and for all. Nobody likes a strong-willed little girl. All right, Dex, let's go. I'll follow you to the end of the Earth. Lady Marta, don't let them get to you. Oh, right. We're all wounded and tired. Let's go back to Mel Tokyo for now. I agree. Salus isn't looking very good either. Is that all right with you, Lloyd? Aster while he was looking at me. Aster. I guess that's someone's name. But why say it to me? I don't know. It really bothers me. I can't believe this. You're not the only one. How could they involve my poor sister in this? But what does this all mean? I'm so confused. Okay, the real Lloyd was the one gathering the cores. Meanwhile, Dex was posing as Lloyd and committing crimes in his name. Right, Emil? Who's Aster? What did he mean? 
What does Brood want with the cores? Is that exercise machine Dex ordered really ineffective? Has anybody tried it out? Proving which Lloyd was real and which Lloyd was fake will be difficult with only his own word as evidence. This is impossible! Um, excuse me, Lloyd? Lloyd, bud. Lloyd? Lloyd, answer us. Come on, Lloyd. I have nothing to say. <sighs> to know this Richter person, right? You know him too, Colette? I think maybe we're friends? What? Well, my Crucius crystal, it's this pendant-looking thing I have. Anyway, he asked me to give it to him. Now that you mention it, the Vanguard has been on the lookout for the Chosen. Maybe they need the Crucius crystals for some plan of theirs. When I told him I couldn't give up something so important, he said he'd have to take it from me by force. Did he threaten to kill you? No, but that scared me, so I tried to get away. Except, I turned around and ran smack into the fence of a nearby house and broke it. The people who lived there were really angry. But Richter apologized with me and even paid them for the damages. And? He bid me farewell by saying, he'd let me go this time, but he'd take my Crucius crystal the next time we met. And then he left. Sounds more like a threat than a farewell. I think Richter's a chosen maniac, so he's really into collecting their memorabilia. That must be why he wanted my Crucius crystal. Hmm. Colette, I, I don't think that's... C Colette, no. No. That's not why he wanted to get it. Huh. <sighs> she never changes. Safe point. And let's get out of here. We don't have any reason to be here now, so let's leave. Make like a tree and get out. Honestly, these areas aren't that big, in retrospect. Can't see where I'm going. Is there, is there a chest to hit back here? Yes. Animus? Yeah, you don't wolf on my butt. Yeah, the new kind of just happened. Also, Colette, how to walk through a fence? How do you do that? And again, she walk through a house. So, I mean, it's Colette. Lloyd, I'm sorry for the way I acted. It's nothing you should feel bad about. I had no intention of explaining myself from the beginning. Lloyd, why won't you tell us anything? Won't you talk to us? <sighs> there is only one way we can remove Ratatosk's core from Marta. We have to hatch all of the cores and wake up Ratatosk himself. Why are you after the cores? Maybe we can all work together. Then let's work together. You can start by giving all of your cores to me. This isn't about just me. If we can wake Ratatosk, all the strange weather around the world will finally stop. Maybe you didn't hear what I said. Hand over the cores right now. 
This isn't like you. Lloyd, why? Surely there's some reason you're behaving this way. Lloyd. Talk to us. There's nothing I can say for now. Lloyd! We have to go after him. It's no use. He has a Rayard. He's probably soaring through the wild blue yonder by now. Not again. And Celis isn't looking too good. Let's return to my estate for now. I'm sorry for putting you all through this. You're right, I'm sorry. I didn't even notice. Okay, let's hurry back to Mel Tokyo. Well? But I don't get it. The Lloyd you all talked about would never act like that, right? What is he thinking? Come on, Zelos, I know you can explain this. I'd like nothing more than to grant your wish, Marta, my angel. But I can't speak in Lloyd's place. Is that all you can say? I trusted him because all of you did. <laughs> but it wasn't Lloyd who attacked Palma Costa and those other towns. I want to believe that the real Lloyd has a good reason for what he's doing. And I'm saying I want to know what that reason is. If he'd just talk to us instead of giving us the cold shoulder, we might even be able to help him. Marta. I understand you feel partly responsible for the things the Vanguard's done, but it's not a child's place to pay for the mistakes of their parents. And directing all that frustration at Lloyd isn't the right answer either. Though I do wish Lloyd would have said something instead of just turning his back on us. Zelos, I... Hmm? Fallen head over heels for me, have you? <laughs> You'd actually be pretty charming if you didn't say stuff like that. Lloyd refused to talk to us. But he did save Celis. We can rest assured he hasn't really changed. Yes, I'm sure he'll be able to explain all of this someday. Yep, sooner or later keeping so many secrets to himself will be impossible for a guy as trusting as Lloyd. You're right. Oh, but I just hate not knowing the truth behind all this. It looks as though all we can do now is wait. <sighs> you know, where's Genus and Rain? Colette's still as cute as a button, Sheena's curves are delectable as ever, and Marta's spunky attitude just gives me goosebumps. I think I've died and gone to heaven. As soon as we rescued Zealous, he's back to his usual self. Zealous is so... flighty. No, Marta. Zealous isn't flighty. He's shallow. C Colette? Who... who said that about me? Professor Sage. She said you're like a wading pool. Professor Sage can't swim, remember? I think she means she likes Zealous. <sighs> fine, fine. I'm a shallow man with obvious motives. So sue me. I... I don't think that's what she meant, Colette. Yeah. It's like they couldn't reuse the portraits from the original for some reason. I don't know why. It's not like it'd be hard to do. Oh, they're just in my party now. Like, I'm probably gonna leave the moment I go to Mount Tokyo. Can I finally go to the IM shop? Oh my god. Oh god. Cellos and Raven. Oh. That would be a terrifying thing. Cellos, Raven, and Sabine. The bad three have together. You wouldn't know who Sabine is, though. I know who Sabine is, though. All right, back here we go. Oh, Lady Celis, I'm so glad to see that you're all right. Tokunaga, I'm sorry for worrying you. Tokunaga, Sebastian, see Celis to her bed. 
Yes, sir. Um, Emil, my brother told me everything. I would be honored to give you Glaucius's core. Good luck on your quest. Thank you. Man, this thing just gets worse and worse. The Silverant dynasty, huh? I've no idea what went on in Silverant back when the worlds were still separated. But the Vanguard is dead set on getting revenge on the Church of Martell. Were they planning on using Ratatusk's core to restore the dynasty? Yes. They want to use it to destroy the Church of Martell, and the Tetha Allen royal family as well. Ratatusk's core can do that? They plan on using it for some weapon called a Mana Cannon. No way! Sheena, you've heard of it? Yes, I've used one before. If left in the wrong hands, it could destroy the entire world. I'll need to inform the church officials and His Majesty about this. I'll head back to Isalia to tell everyone there. Is there any way we can get word to Professor Sage? Leave that up to my Mizuho scouts. They'll find her and let her know. Emil, what are you going to do next? I'll go after the rest of the corps with Marta. That way we'll free Ratatosk and also stop the Vanguard from using the Mana Cannon. Right, Marta? But right. Then I shall continue to accompany you. I don't pretend to understand what Lloyd is thinking. But perhaps I could be of help the next time you face him. Good idea. I'm going too. What I know about the Mana Cannon might come in handy. And I can't throw my support to Lloyd until I know what he's about. Count me out. I'm sure Lloyd has his reasons. He would never do anything to put the world in danger. So I'm going after Lloyd. I feel the same way as Elos. I trust Lloyd no matter what. I want to find him and help him. I wish you two luck. Well, I suppose we won't see each other for a while. Yeah, take care. Everyone, stay safe. Zelos, Colette, thank you. I'm so sorry. This is all my father's fault. Child shouldn't have to apologize for what their parents do. Cheer up, Marta. Well then, shall we? Yeah. Goes uh, Colette and um, the Cellos. What? Where are we going? I don't know. Earthquake. Now then, time to hunt for more Centurion's cores. Indeed. The Temple of Earth isn't too far from here. Earth? That would mean... In theory, it would mean we should find Solem's core. What's the matter, Tenebrae? You don't sound too sure. No, it's just... Recently, whenever we've been close to the Vanguard, I've felt the presence of Solem's core. So they already have it? I cannot be certain, but Solem's specialty is his ability to deceive his enemies. It could be connected to the effortless transformations of that foul-smelling man. You think Dax is using the core? But wait, wouldn't you have sensed Solem's presence if he was? I'm afraid that his ode to seduction interferes with my senses too much for me to tell. Well, if we go to the Temple of Earth, we'll know for sure, right? Indeed. No use standing around discussing it. Let's head to the temple. Right. Hive for an art temple! Solum's core may not be here after all. Oh yeah, the Vanguard might have it. 
Do you know Marta? No, I'm sorry. Ever since Daddy started to change, I've been avoiding him, so... Hey, don't sweat it. Worrying about it won't help us now. Besides, things should clear up once we get to the Temple of Earth, right? That's right. Let's hurry. Now, can I use I am so? God, this I am soft is useless. And I still can't go back and Lewin. Let's go back to Icelia and stock up there. So we're almost done with chapter 5. So there's that at least. I have so much money right now, but I got nothing to buy. Alright, so we're going to the Temple of Earth. Why? Did something happen? It's all those earthquakes we've been having. The inside of the temple collapsed. It's a mess in there. So we can't go inside? Nope. Don't think anyone's gonna be able to before they finish repairs. What should we do? Well, we could head to the Temple of Lightning in the meantime. A summon spirit used to be there, so the core could be as well, right? Perhaps. By the way, why don't we hatch Glockius's core before we set out again? Oh, good idea! I almost forgot about it. We haven't touched it since we got it. Now Glockius has awoken too. That's good. Emil? Perhaps he's simply exhausted from everything that's happened. You may be right. Let's take him back to town. <laughs> Emil, what's wrong? Marta, it's you. You're the other Emil, aren't you? You can tell? Oh yeah, you didn't want me around. No! It's just, ever since what happened, you only showed yourself when we were in battle. So I was worried about you. You were? Come to think of it, you did stand up for me. Huh? Marta, do you need me? Of course! You're Emil, too! So you don't mind if I show up again? Of course not. Thank you. Huh? Marta, what just happened? What do you mean? We were talking. Really? I'm sorry, it's nothing. My mistake. Oh, okay. You should get some more rest. Yeah, I'll do that. Good night, Marta. Mm, good night. Emil, what's happening to you? Where chapter five ends?
just looking at what I'm looking at, I have a guy go that helps me uh, where the chapter starts and ends. Yeah? So... We're done with chapter 5? Wow! Cat's gonna like... Problem is, I can't really do side quests, I think. I have no idea what's going on with Emil. I have no idea. I mean, given that... I don't know. It's really hard to say what they're going with. With Emil. So next time, we'll be starting Chapter 6. Which is gonna be a fun time. We are almost done with the game. We're getting very close to the end of the game already. I'm gonna save again. And I will say... I'm gonna check out the cat's buildings. Let's see what the cat's buildings is about. I can get Elven Cape. I'll get an Elven Cape. That's a lot of money for Miracle Gel. I should get some of this though. Now I feel like I should get some Pineapple Gel. Quite aggravating that we have this synthesis system, but I can't really use it because I never have stuff to use with it. I need like two crawler silk. Oscar's some grace. There's a dispel. I would love to have healing circle. Damascus. I might as well. Make a steel ball. Make this mithril. Make this orange calcum. I need a Philosopher's Stone. And I don't know how to get a Philosopher's Stone. I could 
could make that. Let's do something free. I'm still missing the Philosopher's Stone bat. And I'm missing a Mithril for that. Can I make another myth roll? I can make another myth roll. So with that, I can make that really, really good weapon for you. Half a myth roll. There you go, Mart, huh? That's quite a boost. I'm not really seeing a whole lot else here, so... I mean... We got a new weapon for Mart, huh? I guess. Alright, so with that, I will say until next time, everyone. Well, we did Chapter 6. The side quest will never get done. Grab. Grab. Oh. Okay, I don't know why we need that. So until next time, everyone. Whatever that may be.